back in Telegram's bot API page. For the inline keyboard button, if you notice, there is also a property for switch inline query current chat. So how this works is, if there is a message sent by the bot in a, any chat, and it makes use of the switch inline query property, when you click on this button, it will automatically fill the typing box with the bot's username and a text from the switch inline query current chat text field. So for example, if we have a button with the label wiki search, we can help the user to pre-type what is necessary to invoke this wiki search function. So in this case, it is the W followed by the space shown here. And whatever the user types in next, will invoke the handler to search wiki. However, if the inline query current chat field is empty, and when the user clicks the button, it will only pre-type the, the bot's username and nothing else. So this feature helps the user to quickly pre-type an inline query so that they can quickly perform whatever action they want faster.